Another day in Athens, leaving here, our apartment, and headed to a place called Corinth. It's gonna be really exciting. We're gonna see ancient Corinth. This is one of my favorite places in Greece. Today you're gonna to like it. Are you ready to experience adventure? Let's ride. So today there's a protest happening and a lot of public transportation and different things are closed. Taxis are supposedly not running and all sorts of things. I don't know what the protest is about, but they said it's gonna be a little bit problematic. Uh, the roads could be weird. So I'm gonna find a way around all of the nonsense and get onto a, a big highway and head to uh, Corinth. Corinth is about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away, and it's a beautiful ride. Okay, we're finding our way right here to the entrance of ancient Corinth. 2,000 years ago, it was a very important and very busy port city. And there was a lot of commerce and a lot of people traveling through here, but it was very temporary. People were here for, you know, only a, a short time as they, as they were moving goods and stuff all around by way of ship. And it was kind of a travel corridor to get through here, which I'm gonna show you later how that was done. Oh man, check this place out. I'll take a cappuccino if you have any left. Okay, we're about to walk through the main gate at ancient Corinth. These old stones who've been here for thousands of years. This is how everybody had to get in. They walk across these stones. Uh, maybe the bridge is new, but walk across these stones and through the main gate up here. Look at the thickness. Look at the thickness of this wall. It's 20, maybe 20 feet thick. Incredible. Okay, we're gonna hike up this trail so we can get to the highest point, but it's a long walk. Hopefully you've been following this journey, this whole series, but uh, if not, I want to reintroduce, this is my wife, Ani. Hi. Cool hoodie, by the way. <laughs> yeah. What's the sleeve say? It says, you are love. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is Gracie. Hello. Gracie, what's been your favorite part so far? Corinth has been pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, this place is beautiful. Corinth is awesome. It's so fun. What's been your favorite part? I like Corinth a lot. I yeah. mean, cause just you can just explore up here. Yeah. The views, the views stunning. amazing. The views are stunning. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Well, this is the last day, right, on this part of the journey, and then yeah. we're gonna we're gonna go do other things. But this yeah. is the last. This is the last ride day. So, I've been riding and then meeting up with them at night most days. But today, I met you during the day. Mm -hmm to explore this place and it's been just so good.
Okay, we're going through the third gate, another really thick wall that we have to pass through. But before we go in, I wanted to point out all over these walls are holes. And I'm thinking that maybe some of those are uh, maybe for a garrison to protect the place. Because protecting this place was top priority. But three huge walls that if these people were attacked, the enemy would have to go through a lot to get to them. What you got there, Pitbull? Yeah, this is my dog. His name is uh, Ralphie. <laughs> and yeah, he's just following us on our little journey. I think he's a little bit thirsty. <laughs> oh, uh oh, come on, you can get he's up. He's stuck. On, Dude, man. you can do it. Come on, come you on, got buddy. it. You got it. Come on, come on. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Okay, good on. boy, good boy or girl or good, <laughs> good pit bull. Oh, it's dark. It's narrow. It's narrow and it's dark. This is the most narrow stairs I've ever been in. This is crazy. Is this help at all? No, oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, it's, not it's, it's skinny. If I keep eating baklava, I'm not gonna be able to do that anymore. Is that your dog? What is that, a pit bull? <laughs> is it your dog? It's yours. This site is fascinating to me because it's so well preserved. It was inhabited until the 1800s. And so, can you imagine living here? It's just a couple hundred years ago. If I lived here, I wouldn't want to walk up this mountain very many times. It's, it's up here. Nothing's smooth or easy. Every step is kind of like different than the next. Can you imagine bringing your groceries home and having to go up to the your apartment up on the hill? <laughs> Where are y'all from? Norway. Norway? Yeah. Did y'all fly or did y'all take a bicycle? How did you get it? How'd you get here? I cycled from London to here. Huh? I cycled from London to here. You cycled from London to here? Yeah. Are you messing with me right now? No, 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 because you know what I heard you just say. You yeah. literally bicycled all the way here? Yeah. I gotta shake your hand. Cheers. What's your name? John T. Uh, John T. John T. Yeah. You rode your bicycle here? Yeah. Tell me the story. Uh, I was in London and yeah. I'm cycling to Athens. Uh -huh. And then I decided I'll go to Istanbul, so I'll go to the edge of Asia. You're, you're going to go to Istanbul, Turkey? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Have you had any trouble? Um, I met wolves in, in the Alps. The wolves? Yeah. And the wolves uh, tried to attack you? No, no, no. Um, it was just one wolf. Um, I had nowhere to stay that night, so I had to stay in the camp. Um, and uh, a wolf came by my tent. Oh, uh, no. That, yeah, but that was it, that was it. How long will it take you to get from London to Turkey, Istanbul? Uh, so I left on the like beginning of all October. Um, so like 5th of October, so it's been around about a month now. I'll probably be like another two weeks to get Istanbul. Wow. Um, did you have to prepare for this in any way? No. Or you just, what did you just? You just train on the go. Stop eating chips and yeah. stop well, eating Well, no, no, you dessert. can eat anything you want because you're burning so many calories. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Dogs are not allowed in here, but this dog was following us around long enough where the guard thought it was our dog. I could take him out. I'll try. Uh, Ralphie. Maybe if we walk, he'll follow us out. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of here without getting arrested. 
I can't get rested again up here. Okay, done with my big hike for the morning. So now maybe I should get some lunch. Look at the views here, it's fantastic. Sounds like a car alarm. Wow. So we came to tour this place and they put us with this group here. Where are you guys from? I don't think they speak English. So this is a grave that was found here. That's <laughs> kind of crazy. Oh my goodness. That spear is 900 BC. What about the helmet? It's 500. 500 BC? BC? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. I gotta get me one of those helmets though. And this dagger is from 800 BC. That is crazy. It's so old. So here is the Agora, like the marketplace, the old city. This is where normal people, like the average person is what I'm trying to say, they would come and hang out here. This would be like where city life would happen. This place, however, that I'm walking on right now and taking you to show is where they had like public forums, assemblies, and a thing called a tribunal, which if you've read about this or if you've heard about the tribunal of Paul that happened in Corinth, it happened right here. The Bema seat is right there. So he would have been brought by the mob and placed right here. So the Bema would have been here and up here, Gallio would have stood up there and addressed Paul and he would have addressed the mob the attackers, uh, and that's what he did. It was it all happened right here, which is really cool to see. Okay, there's a big thing I really wanna show you before we get away here. So here's a canal. The canal takes you from that water to that water. That way ships do not have to go all the way around. They built this, uh, I think it's in the 1800s, I forgot exactly, but now the ships can cut through, kind of like the Panama Canal, but much shorter. I think if I remember right, it's about a mile wide. What's really fascinating is that before they built this canal, back in the first century time that we've been talking about, they would put the ships on logs and roll them across here. And in the meantime, the sailors would go into town, into Corinth, and get buck wild crazy while the ship was being moved from one side to the other. It would save them weeks from having to go around. And so I think this part uh, of the world is pretty fascinating right here. Well, this has been Greece. It's getting dark now. I've got one more little stop I'm gonna make. The place called Syncre. This is my final stop on my Greece tour. Riding the footsteps of Paul. This is the spot that he finished his Greece trip also, or his Europe trip. He came right here and he sailed from here to Turkey. This is pretty cool. This is the spot right here. I hope that this has encouraged you in your faith. 
If you do not have faith in Jesus, hopefully this has brought you at least one step closer to understanding what that's all about. This is the footsteps of Paul.